source image so that various different feature maps will be generated to help us to understand which particular kernel is better suited to find the best available feature map. It's a very fun exercise to learn convolution in neural networks. So let's get ourselves started. So the objective for us to learn how does convolution filter works on the given input image. We are going to cover that what the kernel or the filter size is. Then we will learn how the kernel values are applied on the given source image. And finally, we will learn how the feature abstraction in the convolution process works to generate the features from the given source image. Some of the additional readings are available for you. In front. The code is already available for us at the Google Colab. And we will take a look very first at the CNN explainer. Here I will upload the dog image. The dog image is uploaded and this CNN explainer, it takes this color dog image and is split it into three different channels. And at very first stage, the convolution happens. Here in this convolution, as you could see, the input image is 64 by 64, 3 by 3 kernel is applied. And finally, 62 by 62 output image is generated. Depending on wherever I try to move my mouse, the 3 by 3 area is selected from the source image. 3 by 3 kernel of all ones is applied and output is generated. For any convolution, whether we use red image or the green image or the blue image, all three different channels are used and the output image is generated based on your given kernel. In this CNN explainer, convolution is happening here, then convolution is happening here, and finally, the convolution does happen in this layer as well as in this layer. At each layer level, the input size is different. Here, the input size is 64 by 64, and after convolution, the image output is 62 by 62. At this level, when the 62 by 62 image has the 3 by 3 kernel applied, then output became the 60 by 60. At this level, the input image is 30 by 30, where the convolution again 3 by 3 happens. Image output is 28 by 28. And at this point, the again 3 by 3 convolution happen and the final image is your 26 by 26. At any given level, the convolution does apply at exact same way. Whatever the kernel features are, they are applied on the given source image and final the feature image is generated, which is similar to our this example. Yeah. Similar to CNN explainer, we are going to follow this demo where our source input is this dog image. Then this is our convolutional filter code, which we will follow line by line. And finally, when this whole convolution happens and this dog feature image is generated. So let's come back to our source code. First, we are importing the computer vision library and the numpy library. CV2IM show method is imported only to show the image at the Google Colab. If you are not using this code at the Google Colab, you do not need to import this method. Next is our convolution filter demo method, which takes the source image and the kernel. And this function is what does the whole convolution. Next, here is the place where we are using the variety of kernels similar to these, like what is happening here, or in this case, this particular convolution, which is all ones. 
In our example, we have variety of kernels and we will use different kernels to see what kind of feature output we get. So after we have imported required library, we will define our convolution filter method. I'm going to explain every line of it. Next, here is the code where we are using this dog JPEG image. So we could read this image and here is the image 452 by 400 and here this image look like gray. So we have red image as a gray scale. If you would want to use this unchanges type, we can select that method and here you could see that our image has three channels and this is the colored image. But for this example, we will use the grayscale image. So now we have our source image, which is grayscale image. Next, we are going to select a particular kernel. So at this point, I will be selecting this very first kernel, which is all zeros. The only difference is the center value. The center value like this is going to be from zero to four range so we will change this value and every time we will apply a new kernel and passing a source image and this method will be called and then finally the featured image will be generated which we will render here so we are going to get five images out from this method this source image and the kernel will be fed into here so very first time when the source image and kernel will be coming so we will get the kernel size length of the kernel that will be 3 by 3 because our kernel size is here the so length of the kernel then we are going to get rows which is the source image shape so our source image is 452 minus kernel size is 3 so this is gonna be length 3 by 3 so our kernel is 3 by 3 so 3 minus 3 plus 1 it means minus 2 so source image based on that 452 will become 450 and 400 here will become 398. That is what your very first line when we are using this row image that should read the 450 and 398. Based on 450 and 398, empty image with all field zero will be generated. That is what you are getting this empty image with the all zeros then we are going to get for every row and, and every column in given row for every row and for every column first the current image will be the source image i2 kernel size means 0 to 2 and 0 to 2 it means that kernel current will be this 3 by 3 box which we are getting here so that will be our current then after current the multiplication is going to happen here you could see current times kernel so this is current and this is kernel kernel value will be from 0 to 5 here and multiplication is going to happen and then after all values sum will be calculated so sum so for very first time sum of all these values will be calculated the absolute of that sum will be generated that will be became the value of multiplication and this multiplication value will become the value of result image that is here and this result image value will be here then after this loop is going to happen and then slowly slowly we will move this source image from here to here and next and next and next and that will going to happen for this whole image and finally, all these multiplicated value will be adjusted from one by one by one here. And this whole image will be filled with these multiplicated value as shown here. So this is how this whole code is going to run. So let's run this example with this kernel. And as you see, then when whole value was zero, very first value is zero here, we are getting all with all values are one here if you see that we are not getting anything good features out based on this kernel because all values are one and only this value ranges from zero to so it means this is not a good kernel this is also not a 
good kernel let's use this kernel now first kernel has some features second good features third little more fourth little features and then fifth kernel so based on center value we are getting a different feature set let's comment this one and uncomment this one here we are getting much more enhanced features much more enhanced here more enhanced features and finally this feature it means this kernel has a better results this one and if we try to change this kernel and try to use this kernel and run again again you see here we are getting the values third fourth and the fifth it means if we use either this kernel or this kernel we are getting very good features and then n value you have seen how it changes so using this very simple code this is feature this is what we have ran and you could see that how these different feature sets are generated in our example like as we saw here so that's all i wanted to show you in this demo this code which we have followed here is going to be available in, in this folder at this deepworks github repo and here this tutorial is available for anyone to follow so that's all i had for you in this tutorial i hope you have understood the concept of convolutional filter how does it work on any given image thank you so much for your time and i'm going to look forward to see you in my next tutorial until then thank you so much Thank you.